Hi, and welcome back. I'm Kamika, and this is Web Balance Wallet, where I help you create healthy money habits and live a life that you love on your current budget. In this video, we're going to talk about what I decided to do for my 2022 savings challenge, and I invite all of you to join the challenge with me. Okay, so if you have been following along for the past year, I did a savings challenge where I saved a certain amount of money each month, and last year my total was $1,500, so $1,500 and i really enjoyed saving the money each month it made me disciplined and i knew that there was a certain amount that i was going to have to save each month so i i really enjoyed the challenge and i decided to create my own this year in 2022 one of my goals is to stretch myself and to get out of my box get out of my comfort zone and do some challenging things that i haven't done before so my challenge to myself for this year is to save ten thousand dollars and i have no idea if i'm going to be able to do it or not but i'm going to try i designed this challenge for myself to be a monthly challenge since i budget monthly and the money that i'm going to save is going to be outside of my normal budget money so the $3,500 that I use each month in my budget with me's are not going to be a part of my savings challenge unless I just have money left over after I have paid all my bills. So I know $10,000 is a lot of money and it's a lot for me too, but I do want to have big goals this year. But if you want to follow along, feel free to change that amount to whatever amount it is that you want to save. And it may be more than 10,000, it may be less than 10,000, but it's a challenge and it's a good way to save money and you get to decide what you want to do with the money at the end of the year. So let's get started. The only thing that you need is a few flashcards and a pen. So for some reason, I had these perforated flashcards at home, but if you don't have the same cards, all you have to do is cut the index cards in half. So I cut the index cards in half and I have 12 because this is gonna be a monthly challenge, but if you wanna do a weekly challenge, then you just need 52, or if you wanna do a bi-weekly challenge, you need 26. So that is completely up to you. So then I took my cards and I wrote random amounts on them until they added up to $10,000. And I will leave those amounts down in the description box in case you want to do this exact same challenge that I'm doing, you'll know what to write on each card. But feel free to tailor this to make it your own. Okay, so I have all of my cards here. I have 12 different cards and um, the amounts on each of them add up to $10,000. So what I'm gonna do next is I have just an empty bucket and I'm gonna throw my cards in here mix them up I'll mix them around um, just to unstick them so they're not in any particular order and every month during my debt snowball update I'm going to draw a card and that'll be the amount that I will save for the current month so since I'm a little bit behind on January I'm going to go ahead and draw my amount today for my January savings so I'm not looking, digging around in my bucket. So I drew $800. So this is the amount of money that I'm going to attempt to save for January. And I will let you all know how it went in my January debt snowball update. So I'm kind of excited about this challenge, but I'm also kind of nervous because I just do not know if I'm going to be able to save $10,000, but there are a few options for me if I see that I'm getting down to the end of the month and I'm not going to make my amount. I can um, do a few more hours with my side hustle. I can sell things around my house. I can cut down on some spending that I don't necessarily need and I can just do my best to make it happen. So we're gonna see how that goes and the final update will be in December of this year. And I feel like I can do this. I'm so excited that some of you all decided that you want to do the challenge with me. So let me know in the comments the amount of money that you're going to save in 2022 and whether you're going to save weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, or how you plan on doing your totals. And your comment may give other people ideas, so be sure to check the comments to see if there is any combination that you want to try for your 2022 savings challenge. Okay, so we know that I'm going to save $800 this month, so be sure to check back in for the January Debt Snowball update to see how I did. 
So that is all for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe, and click the link on your screen right now for more Well Balanced Wallet content. See you there.